Well, it's a hot, sticky Sunday afternoon here at Target Field. It's a great day for baseball. The series will be decided this afternoon between the Minnesota Twins and the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. And we see Twins rookie Zebby Matthews Roy moments away from his third big league start. But here he is back at home looking at Philip that strikes in. Mason Wynn leads off. This one rolled up the middle. Eddie Julian played perfectly and win. He's retired one down. And the count is now three and two, so he's right back in the count to Alec Burles. Beat him at 96 with his four seam fastball. So Matthews fell behind three straight strikes, and there are two down. Matt Carpenter DHing. Big swinging miss. He got him on a slider. Down goes Matt Carpenter, and a couple of punch outs for Zebby Matthews. And his score is one, two, three, top of first. Eric Fetty is ready to go for the Cardinals, making his fifth start since we got him from the White Sox. Yeah, we told you he's had some success against the Twins. Two starts, only one earned run this year. This is Willie Castro. 0 for 6 in the series. Hammer to right. Back it goes. Deep it goes. And gone. Lead off home run, Willie Castro. It's 1-0 Twins here in the opening inning. There's that power from the left side, and what a start for Minnesota. Adds to a career-best 11 home runs this year for Willie Castro. That's 19 allowed by Eric Fetty. Fetty with the pitch for Larnick. Strike three call. That was filthy. Larnick takes strike three. Good sweeper at the bottom of the zone. There are two down for Walner. Here's a swing and a fly ball down the left field line. Tommy Pham in fair territory. He's under it and makes the play. Castro hit a game leadoff home run, and after one, one nothing Minnesota. Zebby Matthews has a one nothing lead as we play in the top of the second inning. This one off the foot of Zebby, and that's going to be an infield hit for Arenado. That's your first Cardinals base runner starting the second inning. Eight game hitting streak and a 24 game on base streak. As Brendan Donovan digs in, 95 overmatches Donovan there. Third strikeout for Matthews. So one down here in the Cardinals second. Arnado off to a lead as Newpar stands in. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. He got him with a slider. Four strikeouts. Two scoreless innings for Zebby Matthews. Been really impressed so far with Zebby Matthews. Again, it's amazing. A kid that started the year in high A ball is pitching in the major leagues down the stretch for a pennant contending team. Pajes, Victor Scott the second, and then Mason Wynn to bat for St. Louis. Next pitch to uh, Pajes is a base hit to left. Past a diving third baseman, Miranda. And Pajes has started a new hitting streak, but he's aboard for Victor Scott the second. Swing and a miss on a curveball. As Matthew strikes out Scott the second. One out, fifth strikeout for Zebby today. Doesn't throw a lot of curveballs, but picks his spots, and this was the perfect spot. Mason Wynn bounced down to Julian. Fold him. Two down on a slider. And Zebby piling up the strikeouts here in the rubber game of this series. That is six strikeouts already. So Julian, a threat to run. He's six for six stealing bases. Double play would be nice. Round ball off the slope of the mound. Flip to Mason. Watch him do his thing. There's a double play. That was slickly turned. The high hop helped Donovan make an easy feed. And Martin's retired. So is Julian. Two outs. As Willie Castro, a homer to start the game today. Next pitch is swung on and missed. He struck him out. 94 fastball. So we go to the uh, top of the fourth inning. Arenado with an infield base hit his first time up. The left center. Martin charging in. Coming out. He'll dive. And Martin tumbles in. Made the play. Confidence growing day by day for Martin at the plate and in the field. Didn't get a great jump and then had to not only close, but make a backhanded catch right at the turf. Terrific play. A two down bases empty. Tommy Pham bats. And strike three on the outside corner. That's going to be it. Three up, three down for the strikeout. And without the benefit of a base hit now, the Twins load the bases. And we'll see what Manny Margot can do with the bases full here in the fourth. Chico's going to come out, make a talk here, and give him a little bit of a breather. But the Cardinals just haven't given their pitchers much breathing room over the last month or so. Four strikeouts, two walks for Fetty. Needs another punch out. One and two the count, and the pitch is a check swing. I think he went. Yeah, he did. A swing and a miss. Margot strikes out with the bases loaded. And Fetty gets his man. Matthews approaching 80 pitches. He'll try to complete five with the lead. Two up, two down, and Victor Scott, the second, is coming to bat. Swing and a drive. Victor Scott 
has just tied this game. His second home run, a no doubter. And there's a little life for the Cardinals offense. A two out solo home run from the Cardinals' ninth place hitter, Victor Scott. It's a 1 1 game. That swing right there is a thing of beauty from Victor Scott, the second. Second homer allowed by Matthews, and now Mason Wynn. And a weak ground ball jam to third base, Miranda. Scoops it up, cost the diamond to retire. Win. The Cardinals on the home run of Victor Scott have tied it up 1 1. Well, Victor Scott doing good things for the Cardinals offensively of late. He's just tied our game with a solo home run. So Eric Fetty back even as he faces Minnesota's bottom part of the order in the home fifth. Ground ball to third under the glove of Arenado. Win backs up, throws to first, and they still got him. Incredible play by Mason Wynn and Burleson with fancy footwork that time just got his foot to the bag in time. Yeah, he had to hustle back to the bag. This is a rocket coming across by Mason Wynn and Burley able to get the bag and get it. What a heads up play right here by Mason to be ready to make that throw. Mason Wynn saves an infield hit. Here's Martin. He doubled up his first time. Popped up right side. Burleson takes a peek at the railing, reaches up. He did as he goes down a step or two into the Twins dugout by the camera well. Two great defensive plays for the Cardinals here in the fifth. So two up and two down. Julian with a ground out. Martin with a foul out. And here's Willie Castro. Pitch number 74 for Fetty. Strike three called over at the knees. We're going to the sixth. One to one in Minneapolis. And Eric Fetty's day is done as the Cardinals bring in reliever righty Andrew Kittredge, a former teammate with Tampa Bay and Manuel Margo. Margot to center field and that will land in front of uh, Victor Scott the second. So Margot and they won out single has four stolen bases. So we'll see if something's in play here. Eddie Julian coming up in a 1 1 game. Now it's Eddie Julian's turn to right center field. Scott coming on won't get this one either. Kicks away. Margot's going to go to third base. It's bobbled. And right on cue, Roy Smalling, you see Julian with a good swing, a little mishandle in center. And the Twins have two on, only one out. And now the go ahead run is at third base. And Austin Martin is at the plate with one out. They play deep up the middle. They're looking for a pair. See if he's swinging early. Tough guy to double up. And the Cardinals need a double play now. The one strike pitch is a slider hit the short. Win to second for one. On the first double play. Well done by the Cardinals middle infield. And Kittredge gets two outs with one pitch. Go ahead run is at first base for Royce Lewis. Here's Royce. 0 for 2 is a pinch hitter this year. Does have a walk. Lewis hammers to left center field in the gap. That won't be caught. That's in play and off the wall. Castro rounding third. He's got the green light. The relay nowhere in time. Pinch hit. Go ahead. RBI double. Royce Lewis delivers 2-1 here at target field. And the Twins cash in that leadoff man reaching. Castro scores. Twins regain the lead. It's 2 1. Twins 2, Cardinals 1, ninth inning. Twins looking for a series victory. And Joan Duran is out for the second time in this series. Worked a scoreless ninth inning, Roy, last night. Well, all it takes is one swing. And this is a man who can catch up to a fastball. Nolan Arenado on the ground, up the middle, and that's in for a base hit. So Arenado with a two hit game. And the Cardinals have the tying runner on in the ninth inning with one out. Fermin's going to pinch run for Arenado. Out of an 0 for 3 today. Little ground ball hits slowly towards second. They've got a hurry bad throw. Fermin's on his way to third. Donovan, big turnaround first, will head to second. And instead of a game ending double play, the Twins misfire and the Cardinals in business with second and third and one out. You talk about a break in a series that the Cardinals really need to win. They get a big one here. So Mars new bar, our final hope. Everybody backs up to normal depth here. Ground ball, throw base hit. One run scores. Here comes Don. advantage of the second big mistake by the Twins in the inning and the Cardinals have flipped the script leading three to two now and the Cardinals Brad are one out away from an improbable series win. Now it's time to seal it down. You love your chances obviously with Ryan Helsley the most dominant closer on the mound. Ground ball kicks off the left side of the mound. Flip to second in time and the Cardinals Somehow, some way, beat the Twins. For the first time all year, the Twins lose a ball game when leading after eight. 